please don't forget to click on my subscribe button and also on the bell icon it is completely free and you will be notified on my upcoming videos hi everyone and assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's brand new vlog hope that you all are happy and healthy wherever you are before we start today's vlog please my request to all you guys out there now please subscribe to my channel and if you like my vlogs then please give me a thumbs up so in today's vlog, I'm going to share with you a very yummy, a very easy and a very simple homemade burfi recipe. So let's go and make that burfi. So the ingredients that we need for our homemade burfi are 3 tablespoons desi ghee, 1 cup nido milk powder, 1 cup room temperature milk, half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of elachi powder, and almonds and pistachio nuts mixed for garnishing. Now when I talk about cups, I mean measuring cups, which are down here, and spoons, measuring spoons. So now, in a pan, I'm actually gonna add in three tablespoons of desi ghee. You should always make Asian mitais or Indian mitais with desi ghee. So now as you can see, the ghee is melted and now I'm going to add in milk, room temperature milk, one cup, which is about eight ounces of milk. Mix it together. And now we're going to add in one cup of nido milk powder. Whenever you want to make mitai, like rasmalai or milk powder, rasgullas, or um, anything, any mitai that needs milk powder, always use the best quality milk powder. I'm using nido. Nido is one of the best quality milk powders. So this is one level cup of nido milk powder that I'm using. Slowly by slowly add it in so that no lumps are created. And now just keep on mixing it on high heat. So basically all we need to do is just carry on mixing the milk constantly on high heat until the milk thickens so much that the consistency of the milk is so thick and then we're going to add sugar. Always, always whenever you're making mitai, use non-stick or never stick pans. Because we need to mix it so much just to make sure that it doesn't get burnt from the bottom. At this stage, add half a teaspoon, which is about half a level teaspoon of elachi powder. Carry on mixing the milk. Whatever milk gets stuck to the side, please take it off. As you can see, the milk is boiling. But we need to cook it on a high heat, constantly. And we need to make sure that the milk does not overflow.
This will take roughly about 10 to 12 minutes for us to get the consistency that we need for our burfi. Now whilst our milk is boiling, this is the best time now to actually add in sugar. So like I said, this is half cup, half measuring cup of sugar. My milk is also now changing color. It's going yellow from white. Now all the sugar has been added in. Carry on mixing at high heat. The weather down here in UK is rainy, and normally my birds are let out in the back garden for three to four hours. But because of the rain, they haven't been out for three days. So now they start to get a bit annoyed. So now the milk is thickening up. So now as you can see, the butter is getting thick now. So we need to make this a little bit more thicker. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit now. Just two, three minutes more and then I'm going to put it in a pan and let it rest until it cools down. At this point, be very careful. Do not stop stirring because it can get burnt very easily. Use a non-stick pan to make these um, kinds of mitais and use a, silicon, a good silicone spatula so that it doesn't let it stick. So now I'll dish it out in a tray. Oops. I'll dish it in a tray and show you the final look until it rests. Now, I'm going to quickly put it in this tray. And now, what I did is I got some parchment paper and I put this on the tray. And I'm going to spread it around so I can give it a good shape. Now you can see, I have spread it equally. I'm pressing it down. And now, I'm going to put it on pistachio. You can do almond, pistachio, cashew, whatever you want. And now, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour and let it rest. Normally, you should let it rest on a room temperature. But because I need to show you guys how it's made, the final look, that's why I'm going to play it for this little bit. Just uh, try to put it down so that it's just in the book. Now you can see how it's so guys, this is the final look of my homemade yummy yummy instant burfi. As you saw, it was made very quickly, very easy, minimum ingredients, very simple and it's absolutely mouth-watering delicious so i hope that you like today's recipe please do try it it's actually melt in your mouth burfi and um, if you like today's recipe then please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel please like my channel until my next recipe take care bye